So this is my video blog for chapter 7 to 16 and I think the first important thing is probably in chapter 8 the, um, on the first page when it says Mr. Avery said it was written on the Rosetta Stone that when children disobeyed their parents smoke cigarettes and made war on each other the seasons would change and then later on that page it says that Miss Riley died of natural causes um, from this text I think that um, this whole town is playing the blame game they are blaming um, each other um, even um, in this case children um, without any hard um, hard facts, Mr. Avery is just making up what he thinks, um, and maybe j just blaming on the children. Um, also, on uh, chapter eight, um, I learned that Boo Rally is very sneaky, and also that um, the rumors made everyone think that Rally is a bad guy. Um, which made me realize that people are afraid of unknown slash different things, and since people don't know um, much about the rallies, then they're automatically blaming um, them for for that, um, even though they don't have any hard facts. Um, on chapter nine, at the end, on page one sixteen to one seventeen. Um, I just wrote down um, that Tom Robinson is innocent, uh, but it's impossible to prove him innocent because of an all-white jury. Um, um, since he's black, it says, or so, I underlined the only thing we got is a black man's word against the evils. Um, this quote kind of like says that a black man's word isn't as powerful as a white man's word um, in this town. Um which shows that this town is very racist. Um, on chapter 12, I underlined, or I wrote down, that Jem is changing, and I underlined that he was difficult to live with, inconsistent and moody. His appetite, appetite was appalling, appalling, and he told me so many times to stop pestering him. Um, this event um, kind of sh um, will definitely change their future and... Um, Mm. And um, maybe they won't have any more of those childhood adventures slash memories, uh, because of this um this event. Um, page one fifty five. Um, about the Montgomery advertiser. Um, I just wrote down on the side that um they're making fun of Atticus maybe because they're he's defending a black person even though one, um, Atticus is a elder. So people should respect their elders, and everybody knows that. And two, be, um, Atticus is was one of the best shots in the town, or is one of the best shots in the town. And but yet, um, they're making fun of him and disrespecting him, even though when they should, uh, respect him. Um, they're disrespecting the, him and making fun of him. Um, maybe just because he's defending a black person. Um. On chapter 15, um, I just wrote down, or I just said that, um, that they were actually going to beat up Atticus, um, because he was defending a black person, um, because they had, uh, that's what I think happened, because they had, like, shotguns and stuff, and they were, um, um, kind of, like, encountering him, um, just, maybe just because, um, of him defending a black person, and so, in conclusion, from this reading, I'm starting to realize that this town is maybe a sundown town because they shoot at black people at night. Um, the reason for this maybe is because they are not supposed to be there at that time of day. Since in sundown towns, they're supposed to leave um, by the time um, the sun is coming down. Um, the town is also very racist, um, I learned from this reading. And will even go to the extent of making fun of elders or maybe even kill them to prevent people from defending black people. Um, they're also very scared of the rally since nobody knows much about them. Um, um, which made me realize that people are afraid of unknown slash different things. And also that this town, whole town is playing the blame game because they are blaming people without any facts and instead just on what they think. Um, thank you, and that's my video blog.